Frankie, I'm 23. Um, I've been in Manchester for five years now, I think, and I work at the Abbey Tap Pubs. So I work as a chef mainly, um, but I'm an event planner as well. Um, so I run a few nights here, um, and then we do a bit of radio um, stuff upstairs. With steam radios run up here, uh, and then just a bit of everything as well. We've got music studios. Uh, yeah, sort of a bit of everything. Yeah. How long have you been cooking? So I've been cooking here for a year and a half, yeah. but I've been cooking really my whole life, like um, like cooking at home and seeing seeing like he, cause he was from Thailand, so he did quite a lot of exotic dishes, um, sort of seeing that. But then that almost pushed me to learn other cuisines. My favourite cuisine is like English food, so like yeah. like pies and pastries and stuff like that. So um, I think maybe le- growing up with a lot of Asian food. My mum's into like really healthy, horrible food. So <laughs> I like a lot, a bit more like um, Greg's is my favourite food. So anything pastry focused is, is sort of what inspired me to get a bit more involved in cooking. I think the first big thing I can remember cooking is, the, is a pork pie. I think like I made like a big homemade pork pie. That was when I was like, our oh, food can actually be really exciting. So obviously you make like pesto pasta and stuff for yourself, but that was the first like big mission that I set myself and I've completely messed it up. So <laughs> it was one of them where that maybe failing that first one made me want to learn to get better. Um, but then working around food, I worked at KP for a while in the Copper Club um, in a restaurant in Brighton. And I think sort of the, the chefs there when I first started, he was trained by Gordon Ramsay because he was showing me stuff, little basic things like little tricks and stuff in the kitchen. And I think that made me realise food was a bit more exciting than just just cooking at home. Yeah, so it's a disco fun console event called Never Too Much. From the Luther Vandross song, Never Too Much, I thought it was, it's quite a cringy typical disco song, but I thought it'd be, it's got a bit of a ring to it. And also it's like ambiguous in it, like never too much, never too many parties, you know what I mean, all that sort of thing. I actually hate that song. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, it's probably my least favorite disco song to be honest, but it's one everyone knows. It's like the McDonald's thing, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. you someone says never too much, and like, they'll be like, they think of the song, they think of the event, and I've had it's ha- that has worked, like that effect has happened with people, so it's definitely like it's got a good ring to it. I got the idea after there's a morning breakfast show on Swoo FM from Bristol, um, and this guy Felix Joy did like play loads of disco funk and soul, but in like a really stylish way. A lot of it can be really cringy, but he did it really well. And it made me think that like, this would be really good for an event. And then the Abby, my boss, um, said we want to do a night in that sort of style. So I did one in January. It's, it's gone pretty well, but this is tonight's the uh, year of never seen that. Place, so. Just because it's been quite, it's been quite a, like turned into a bit of like a close. I don't want to sound really cringy, but it's been it turned into a bit of family. We'll see how, how, how the turnout is. So I think it'll be yeah, it'll be good fun. Are you running things in the back then? I'm running things in the back there. Yeah. I'm the uh, I'm the got to be the overseer. To make sure. Exactly, exactly. Let everyone else have the fun tonight. 